dear friends in Christ, welcome to Tuesday of the 25th week in the ordinary time, year two. It is also the memorial of St. Andrew Kim Tegon and companions. Christianity is a universal family of the people of God who follow the example of Christ. It is a family that admits of all who are willing to make the efforts and the sacrifices necessary to get to eternal life as revealed by Jesus. They come from every race and color but are willing to set all of that behind as secondary to hold fast to their memberships of the community where they are simply brothers and sisters. Because we are dealing with our common home and this extends beyond our borders, our celebration of the season of creation continues to remind us of our responsibility towards everything created by God. In this regard, the Holy Father tells us that commitment and action in a spirit of maximum cooperation is likewise demanded of the community of nations, especially in the meetings of the United Nations devoted to the environmental question. The developed world must not stop at the level of discovering the problems and warning us of its calamities. They need to acknowledge their roles and take the right actions too. Our first reading today is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verses 1 to 6 and verses 10 to 13, and comes as various sayings for general instructions. We might reflect on a few of them. First, it says, to do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. It is possible sometimes for a wicked person to hide his evil deeds from the public. But however sees each person, even to their innermost. The plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes to want. There are so many people who simply want to be rich without working. When they dream of being rich, they wake up to claim their dream in a hurry. But the diligent are willing to go one step at a time to get to the top of the ladder, they hasty cut every corner and sometimes cut short their lives. The hasty thinks that the quick way to wealth is to cheat others, to defraud their nation, to sell what is below standard, to cheat in an exam. They have no respect for processes and think that money brings respect and honor. Many of them soon hastily end up in the prisons or their graves, a shameful end to life. Do not be in such a hurry. He who closes his ear to the cry of the poor will himself cry out and not be heard. This is a powerful reminder of the fact that we are all poor before God and he takes note of how we respond to the needs of others. One who does not know how to give cannot hope to receive. We must be merciful as the Heavenly Father. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for bringing me into your family. Help me to be a worthy member. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.